Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and in this video we're going to repeat the lunar lander direct landing script that Dimitri put together using the law of cosines method that I outlined in that explanation video. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's go ahead and view our flight record. So we've made 12 attempts, we've had four successes. So our successes were an attempt six, seven, and eight, and then nine, 10, and 11 were failures. And then attempt 12 was a success uh, and it was our first success using the new math method that we've been that we took a look at. So we've seen the intro a bunch. Let's go ahead and skip it. Let's turn off that. Let's kill rotate immediately. Open left shift escape, right shift escape. And let's bring up interplanetary MFD menu base approach target Brighton Beach. And we're going to go down to the old method, or the old program, and we know that this is now negative 2566. And we're having pretty good luck with that anticipation angle of negative 0.3. Seems to me, I'm, I'm going to try negative 0.25 this time, because it seems to me like I'm still going a bit past the base. Mm. Let me actually go negative 0.275, because... I felt like I was really well lined up on the last one, but anyway, uh, we have probably 57 minutes and 30 seconds when this started, something like that. So now we're going to put in our time, and again, let's start with um, let's start with 3100, and let's go 3000. So that's better, which is always good. 2900. So. Let's just try 2,800. It's probably going to be way more. Yeah. Let's try 2,950. So that's 157. And let's burn it immediately because you can see it's going up by the moment. And let's put in our data. So for flight 13, 2,950, negative 0 0.275. And the rest of this will fill out later. All right. So while that's going, let's bring up our com nav. Let's set it to 1... 32.15 and then we'll go on frequency a bit later. Let's go to GPS VTOL and memory and get and let's bring up burn time calculator. All right so so now we can just go ahead and immediately uh, plug our numbers into burn time calculator for our law of, our law of cosines equation as I mentioned in the last video. You may think it might be better to wait till we're closer. Uh, you can do that if you want, but again, I find that it makes no it makes no difference in terms of when I'm actually going to start the burn. Um, in fact, let's actually take a look at that in this video. So let's go ahead and plug it in now. You know, we just completed our our base alignment. So let's put on our DV according to our reentry velocity of three of three zero three two. And we have a distance of 176,039 meters. So let's go ahead and get that plugged in. 176,039 meters. And then our reentry angle is 36.904. 36.904. Okay, so that's these are our numbers and we'll take a look at these again when we get down to um our, let's let's look at it again at like 750 kilometers so i don't want to do it at the 500 at the 400 kilometer marks i think we might be too busy at that point because i i do want to compare again i'm just gonna like for these next few flights i just want to compare you know what i was doing in this in this uh other method with you know using this actual equation so we'll we'll see if we if we if we think we have time we'll, we'll compare when we're at 400 kilometers. But I'm I'm thinking we'll I'm, let's just plan on looking at this again at 750 kilometers. It's close enough to you know 400. All right, so let's go into the retrograde position and let's switch this over to vertical speed and get it set for something that might make sense when we actually get to the point where we would want to engage it and maybe something like that. So retro doors are open, landing gears up. 
All right, so for now, we don't need to, well, I guess we don't really need the reverse camera yet because we're going to look at this again in a moment. So we should be pretty well settled. Just a little bit of time warp to give that time, come out of time warp, turn that off, kill, rotate, kill, rotate again. And now let's warp time forward again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check this again when we're at 750 kilometers. So let's go ahead and warp time forward to that point because I just want you to see that in even though the numbers change, they don't change by any amount that would make a difference in terms of when you would actually begin your burn. And maybe it'll make a liar out of me this time, but <laughs> I've checked it a few times and I've never seen it make a difference. So we're at 1.3, 1.2. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. And let me go down to 0 0.1 for now. All right, so we have new information that's very close to what it was, but let's check it out again. So before we had 3032, now we have 3031. I mean, seriously, like that's going to matter. So we went from uh, 176,039 to 175,918, which is, you know, very small, but let's go ahead and plug that in. Uh, let me switch over here. So keep these numbers in mind, 108 point, let's just keep this one in mind, 108.5. Now we're going to plug in our new value, 175918, and again, you know, 108.5, but we haven't changed the re-entry angle yet, not that that's going to change much. 36904, in fact, it hasn't changed at all. So again, whether we do that when we're right after the burn completes or we wait until we're closer, it makes no difference. Okay, so now that that, now that we've shown that, we're going to plan on doing this burn at 113 kilometers. Let me think. So this is, this is what the calculation gives us, but we know if we start them, we're going to smack into the moon. So we need to add something above and beyond that. Again, my, my I tend to be a bit more conservative. Let's go, let's try 112 kilometers and hope we don't hit the ground. 112 kilometers, there we go. That's when we're going to begin the burn. All right, now let's go ahead and let's go back into the retrograde position. So we're done with this, so we can go ahead and bring up our camera. And when we get down to 400 kilometers, we're going to plug in our values according to the other method that I was using. Looks like it might be okay because this range doesn't look to be too big, but we'll see. And all right, let's go ahead and warp time forward to get down to that point. So 400 kilometers is what we're looking for. And when we get close, of course, we'll come out of time warp and come out of time warp. And then when we get really close, we'll go all the way down to 0 0.1. All right, 0 0.1. And first, plug in the vertical speed, 2066. And that's updated. So now control P to pause so I can put this information in. And that's 82,219 meters. So 82,219 meters. 82,200. Yep. And now we're going to plug in our ground speed so db 2852 give that a second okay it's done control p for pause 155,924 and over here 155,924 now we copy down all of our equations so if we did it at 60 percent we would begin the burn at 126 kilometers and again, I was kind of leaning more and more towards 50%. So that would be about 120 kilometers. So according to this, you know, approximation percentage method, we would begin the burn at 120, 119 kilometers, but we're going to go all the way down to 112. So that's a, that's a difference. You know, previously in the last flight, you know, we were talking the difference between, you know, 107 kilometers and like 113. But now we're talking, you know, depending on which one of these we go by, you know, anywhere between seven and like 
15 kilometers and that's that's a lot of difference when you're moving it 2000 you're moving it two kilometers a second every second two kilometers so so let's hope that uh let's hope that i'm not underestimating again you know that this is the value that we calculated and then we have to take into account human reaction time the fact that the engines don't wrap up instantaneously and the fact that we're this calculation doesn't take into account a curved path so my four percent says i should be closer to 113 kilometers but i'm trying to dial that down will that will i will i have under overestimated let's find out 112 kilometers, that's when we're going to do this burn. Uh, unpause, and back to real time. Retro's on, we don't need this up anymore. Let's go to GPS VTOL, that's the most useful to me once we get the burn, uh, once we're coming out of the burn, that way I can line up with the base quickly. All right, let's hydrate. Okay, so 112 kilometers. Let's go ahead and warp time forward. Get a little closer to that point. All right, we're pretty close. So we have eight minutes, almost nine minutes left on the clock. And we're going to begin this burn. And I don't want to be even a microsecond late on this burn. 112. 112. I think I was a microsecond late. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and warp time forward. Come out of time warp. It's always scary to see myself moving at hundreds of meters a second this close to the ground. <sighs> Are we gonna make it? I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna be okay. Do we have enough fuel left? All right, coming out, gonna stop the burn here momentarily and kill the burn. Go level, switch over to the down cam. And as soon as this is lined up, we want to kill rotation, keep an eye on our vertical so that we don't slam into the ground. You are clear to Looks like that was a really good, uh, like we're, oh wow, only 240. That's nice. 2500. Okay, I'm a little panicked on my vertical, so. Translation. Okay, so we want a bit of speed in this direction. Translation. Oops. Fumbling the controls, that's never good. Uh, I do need to switch over to VOR, VTOL. Wait, com nav. Ah. And then go off or go on frequency, select VR, there we go. And now rotation translation. So I'm spending too much time with that alignment, but I think it's gonna be okay. Alright, just putting in some more. Of course, we can land on any of these landing pads. I just have two dialed in, so that's the one I'm going Or I have one dialed in, so that's the one I'm going for. But I'm pretty sure any of them are fine. Alright, let's take out some more descent so we can go down faster. And hopefully we can Rotation. make this one a, a landing record. As long as I don't fumble the controls. So putting the landing gear down. Gear down. Gear is down, so I don't want to have to think about that anymore. One thousand. Translation. All right. Let's slow things down a little bit. Getting a little nervous. All right. Yeah. Obviously, we have plenty of time. We have plenty of fuel. Okay, we're almost over the center of the pad. Maybe start slowing things down a little bit. Five hundred. All right. Well, we're at 
500, we still have a ways to go. Let's try to get down quickly. Okay, we're mostly over the center of the pad. I'm not going to worry about getting that to like zero, 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 and all that stuff. Okay, 300, 200, slow things down a bit. Hmm, I'm not sure if this will be a record. Okay, we have to be less than three meters a second. Turn this off. 20. 20. 10. 10. No, it's not going to be a record. Okay. Okay, down, turn that off. Brakes. Attitude off. Okay, so obviously a success. And. I think the last one, the one before this one, number 12, would have been would have been a record if I hadn't messed up that hover. <sighs> All right, three minutes and 10 seconds to spare. Yeah, I, I can't remember what the last one was. I think it was like three minutes and 17. So let's look at our flight record. 13 attempts, five successes. All right, let's log our success. So that, again, was a success. And it was a, a success with an asterisk because we did our... Um, and we did our uh, law of cosines method. All right, so yeah, we'll try a few more of these and and see if we can just get success after success after success. But uh, it's it's just interesting to me to see, you know, where this number lines up with respect to, you know, what I was doing here. And it looks like it's looks like 50% is close when the range, you know, is is that narrow. But uh, hopefully we'll get a flight here where we have something more like what we had in flight number nine. All right, so with all that said, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hit the like button down below if you would. Leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.